TINS community. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today we are in the red. And let me tell you, I'm happy. I'll be I'll be more than willing to take 10, 20% in the red simply because what is next to happen is definitely, in my opinion, more green. So watch the video, stay tuned, just sit aside, listen up, have your headphones on or whatever you're doing. If you just want to listen up, that's perfectly fine as well. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for being a subscriber. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being part of the members. I already, I already told a little bit of a hint to the members about what the future is coming. And yeah, if you want to join, just go ahead and do so. You can join on the YouTube side or on the Twitter for the subscription. So thank you, those that join up. Now, we are, of course, dropping in price right now as we speak. It's been going down pretty much for a while. I think the majority of the day. And I think this today's like the second time we have seen some red action. I'm going to say this again. History does not like to repeat itself, but it sure does like to rhyme. The previous times, this has happened like multiple, multiple times. I want to say like six or seven times. When Titan X does a anywhere between a 10 to a 25% down move in price, Normally, what has happened, and tomorrow can this tomorrow we can be in green. Normally, what has happened is that 24 to 36 hours after we were in the red, we are in the green about roughly 20%. I'm not I'm not gonna tell you to go ahead and buy some if you have if you want a DCA. I'm not trying to force you to go cash out some money in your paycheck and get into crypto and get into Tinex. I'm not saying none of that, but previously we have seen that it has happened multiple times already, and I hope it happens again. This right here, this drop was perfect. We touched the 13 right here and we bounced. And what's great is that this drop made the RSI cool off. And because we cooled off, we went higher. Now the same thing is happening. We are now in a higher position. In price, we're dropping. The RSI is cooling off. Now, if we go back up, we have now enough technical analysis and momentum and buy pressure and everything to where we can break through this line. I'm going to brag for a little bit. Excuse me. I'm sorry if you get mad, if you, if you take it to heart, but I told you so. Again. I told you so. Whenever these two blue lines came into effect, I said, once we break out of here, we will see 17. You can go into the previous videos and you will know that I was saying next target is 17. I even sent out a tweet to the members. I said, we broke out from this blue trend line on 14. Next target is 17. We hit 16 and a half. And then we were traced back. There you go. I mean, that's pretty close if you ask me. Like, it's not, a, not always going to be spot on. I've always, I'm always seeing one or two comments every now and then. Uh, the most recent one was, I think, yesterday or two days ago. Where somebody was like, yo, bro, stop doing technical analysis. It doesn't work. None of that works. Um, it's just BS. It's just random lines. You know, blah, blah, blah. Bro. Like, let me, sh let me remind you again that this weekly cross, well, thanks to this, it triggered the massive bull run that Tynex is doing. Thanks to the TA, it managed to let me know that this is the bottom that we bounced. We broke out through here. Matter of fact, since down here, I said we were going to break up into the crazy prices that we are now with pullbacks and that's exactly what happened pull back here pull back here now we're seeing another small pullback don't tell me ta doesn't work bro like it, it's been working perfectly 17 pullback we are now touching the 13 um average right now 13 nma typically not always about 80 percent of the time whenever the candlesticks are touching the 13s it tends to bounce it happened here, it happened here, it happened, let's see, right here, and it just held its ground 
bouncing on the 13, sometimes even the 30, 13, 34, both. And we tend to go uh, higher once we bounce off of that. So looking into here, we are right near that 13 MA, which is looking to be around 1339. And we are at 1366. Could this be the, the temporary little bottom that we are seeing and we could head higher? I hope so. No promises, no guarantees, but you guys know the next 24 to 36 hours, we might break through the 17 area. I think I said 1711 in the tweet. So, you know, it, it could happen again. I'm not saying it will. It could. It's what been it. That's the same pattern that has been going on with Tyne X. It drops 15 percent, 20 percent one day. The next day we're in the green heading into higher uh, prices. So it's going to be very interesting to see where we are at 25 to 36 hours from now. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm perfectly fine. I'm okay with me being wrong, okay? I don't care. And to be even more honest with you, I would prefer for us to roll over a little more. If we can manage to get the RSI to even the here, like in the mid-40s, oof. We could see here. We could see 4.1. This gap right here is what I'm really watching. This yellow line is big resistance. Blue line is minor resistance. Why do you think we broke out through these two blue lines so easily? Simply because it wasn't a major resistance, but it was something to be watching for for a small minor pullback. Here, you see this red candle? We pulled back just a little bit, but we managed to break through. This red candle, we touched my blue line, we retraced back, there you go, and then we pushed forward. Now we got rejected on my yellow line, which is a major resistance line, and that's why we are seeing this crazy downtrend, okay? Crazy 15%, right, but still. So if we manage to uh, cool off a little more and have that RSI at a healthy level, and we manage to get that buy pressure back in with everything and have enough momentum, to break through this yellow line of 1709, 1711-ish, give or take. This gap, I'm going to circle. I'm trying not to be, you know, negative or cause FUD or none of that. I'm transparent. I'm honest. And I'm, as much as it hurts, right? I would love to make videos saying 1,000x today, 100x tomorrow, 10x tonight, you know, so on and so forth. But I, it's not going to be that way. We will see pullbacks, okay? And it's healthy pullbacks. I will not always be bullish. I will not always be saying 100x from here. The bottom is in, this and that. I'm going to be honest and create content for you guys that is trustworthy. This is why you guys are subscribed. This is why you go follow me on Twitter and join the Telegram. All the links will be down below. So if you enjoy this type of content, let me know. So once we break out of this yellow line right here, this channel is what's really really going to be interesting stuff oops i did not mean to delete that so this channel right here this little trend from 7 11 ish all the way to four again four which is five zeros and a four by the way those of you that don't understand what i'm saying five zeros and a four this big gap right here it, at the same time it makes sense we have day 369 come along all millions of dollars of ETH are going to be flooding, as well as some profit takers, of course, some sellers. But we also have this big, big future coming up right here, which correlates to this. Once, in my, in my opinion, I'm predicting that once we start seeing this action right here, which should actually happen... Sometime the beginning of November, actually, like around the 10th of November, I think I might be a little late, maybe even a lot earlier. But I think we will be seeing this price action here, of like pretty certain we'll be see we'll be hovering them prices in this area, which five zeros and a four that's a four X. If you're tying X, for example, mine. Let's say this is claiming right now at the current value of 340. It will be worth 4x by this day, which is December 16th, which is around here, give or take, somewhere around here. 
And if it's hovering at five zeros and a four, it will be four times as more. So it will be about twelve hundred dollars worth. Think about that. A little something. A little to uh, things to be looking forward to. That's my own little rant. You guys love technical analysis. You guys love transparency and price targets and you know rejections, pullbacks, whatever. So we'll see what happens. Twenty four to thirty six hours. Hopefully, I'm right. We'll see. I'll make an update video. So join up, be a member. I'll have a lot more quick little um, insider information for you guys. So join up. I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Take it easy. I'm out. Peace.